we are given the graph of f prime of x of a continuous function and asked to determine where the function is increasing, decreasing, as well as the location or locations of any relative extrema. So again, this is the graph of the derivative function, not f of x. And we know if the derivative is positive over an interval, then f of x is increasing. And if the derivative is negative over an interval, the function is decreasing. Let's first make open points on the graph where the derivative function is equal to zero or undefined, which would represent the critical numbers. Notice the derivative is zero at x equals two. The derivative is undefined at x equals six. And the derivative is zero at x equals eight. And now to determine the intervals where the first derivative is positive as well as negative. Well notice how the derivative function is negative over the open interval from zero to two, this interval here. It's also negative over the open interval from six to eight here. And the derivative function is positive, and the derivative is positive over the open interval from two to six, this interval here. And the derivative is also positive over the interval from eight to infinity, this interval here. Let's go ahead and mark the signs on the x-axis. The derivative is negative, positive, negative, and then positive. And again, where the derivative is positive, the function is increasing, and where the derivative is negative, the function is decreasing. And therefore, the open intervals where f of x is increasing would be the open interval from two to six, union, the open interval from eight to infinity, and the function is decreasing over the open interval from zero to two, union the open interval from six to eight. Next, we're asked to determine the location of any relative maximums as well as relative minimums. F of x has a relative maximum when there's a high point on the graph of f of x which is where f of x changes from increasing to decreasing, or where the derivative changes from positive to negative. And f of x has a relative minimum when the graph of f of x has a low point, which occurs where the function changes from decreasing to increasing, or where the derivative changes from negative to positive. Well, notice in x equals two, the derivative changes from negative to positive, and therefore the function changes from decreasing to increasing, resulting in a relative minimum at x equals two. Next, notice how the derivative changes from positive to negative at x equals six, which means f of x changes from increasing to decreasing, which indicates f of x has a relative maximum at x equals six. Now I do want to mention here Remember, we were told that f of x represents a continuous function, so even though the derivative function is undefined at x equals six, we know f of x is continuous and defined at x equals six. And then finally notice how the derivative changes from negative to positive at x equals eight, which means f of x changes from decreasing to increasing. f of x has a relative minimum at x equals eight. I hope you found this helpful.